video ones. It's Alice. I'm of the stars. And I've come across some information just now uh, to do with uh, anal intercourse. I know this is a topic that I've discussed a lot lately and a lot of people don't like that I'm talking about it. But uh, it's an important topic because my, uh, my teaching basis is in Kundalini Yoga and anal intercourse uh, interrupts the flow of the Kundalini, which is the flower of manhood and womanhood. So uh, when there are social trends that diminish or distort the um, energetic potential of humankind, it's important to talk about it, I feel. And this is the uh, premise on which I'm uh, basing the talks that I'm giving about anal inter intercourse. Um, so I was doing a um, blog on the planet Uranus today, I was going over the thought that the feral drive to dominance and, and or submission, which orders um, primal packs um, uh, like chimpanzees and um, also wolf packs and so forth, and prevents them from too much aggression one against the other, <clears throat> is a form of behavior or acting out uh, that that used to take place in the animal realm and which was superseded in the modern day by the word game known as one-upmanship. Um, and so just going back to the feral instinct of the feral drive, it seems to me that uh, dominant submission uh, behaviors such as anal intercourse or uh, in the case of women sometimes the uh, vaginal intercourse in primal packs was a way of mitigating um, fear of others, other pack members, and preventing violence, or the thought that uh, violence was going to be uh, wreaked on one, and still is today. And. Um, uh, so, so my guess is that the purpose of anal intercourse could arise in early childhood and it might have to do with being beat up by other boys, for instance. Feelings of insecurity about being with one's peers and that it, it was uh, considered by the young child, the very young child, uh, to be a way to avoid this threat of violence in the group. In the typical child, this, this behavior gives way to more subtle verbal means of expressing submission to those felt to be stronger than one and dominance towards those felt to be weaker than one, which then order the, um, the peer group. Um, so, so it could be thought that, that anal intercourse especially amongst, amongst boys, is a form of uh, failure to thrive or a developmental disability uh, in the normal course of social life. Changing social interactions for a child, uh, it might be like a stuckness at one point, uh, something that works, and that might indicate a greater degree of fear of other children in the person that has this behavior, or a greater degree of desire to bully or dominate other children. So um, I'm just asking to think about this because chakrically speaking, anal intercourse does not make any sense. If you're the recipient of anal intercourse, what happens is a kind of a, a backwards movement of the energy of uh, a, a, a ruining of the fundament of the of the kundalini and so it's something very much to be avoided for the person that's looking for spiritual development of course there are many other ways that men can express affection together and that many women can interact together sexually that uh that that don't include anal intercourse and don't offer this kind of um this kind of detrimental uh, energetic. I would like to say for the man who 
enacts anal intercourse, that this kind of behavior, to me, is reminiscent of bullying. This is my guess. This is something to look into. For the man who enacts anal intercourse upon another man, or upon his spouse, or another woman, uh, it's possible that this may represent dysfunctional relationships, communication relationships in the natal family. Um, you know, we have what's called the perverse triangle. That nomenclature, I think, has been superseded. And then we have the more functional, like, challenge triangle. So the one causes and like an addictive bullying behavior, codependent beha behavior, and then there's the victim that's bullied. <laughs> so, so, so that's something you look at, I feel. Um, uh, yeah. With regard to a man and a woman who typically prefer anal intercourse, I think it's possible, I think we should look into the possibility that this indicates a fear of intimacy um, and uh, look into ways to work with uh, Venus pose, you know, that, that emphasizes communication with the eyes, especially while doing difficult stationary or moving kriyas. Um, so, and what that does is it strengthens the ability of a couple to depend upon each other and, and that, um, that confidence in the other person um, looking out for one and covering one and uh, coming to one's assistance in times of trouble, such as during a diff difficult Kriya, helps the, um, the overcoming of fear of intimacy. So it's not at all um, surprising that Venus Kriyas are part of the Kundalini Yoga technique, uh, which is for the flowering of the energy systems of men and women, because uh, the flowering can't take place without an improvement of self-esteem, a feeling of self-worth, and a, the belief that one can uh, that one can be intimate with one's sexual partner without too much fear being involved in that.